right. Speaking of people getting their face slapped, whoever booked this next thing, Swerve Strickland against Darby Allen. Swerve had Prince Nana in the corner. Darby had little Nick Wayne in the corner. And the reason they're having this match, obviously, besides the fact that we've had the story with Nick Wayne being from Seattle, trained by his father. Swerve was from Seattle. Darby's from Seattle. They got the training background. They've been fleshing this out better than they do most stories, right? And that's why I was afraid of this match, because we've seen Swerve look pretty good. And we've already established that Darby, against somebody like MJF or against a CM Punk or against anybody that is actually a good worker and knows what they're doing and how to lead a match, Darby is great and unique and fantastic and wonderful and just crazy go wild. But when he gets in the ring with somebody like Swerve that they've trained together and they're friends and they want to try everything in the world, that's when we get the aggressive parkour because there's no leader here to make the other guy have a match. It's how much can we do and how often can we do it? And so each guy can have a good match with other people, but they cannot overcome their worst instincts when they're working with each other. And it ends up what we got here. And it started out that Darby was working a headlock. And then suddenly they broke out into palming each other off into tumbling routines. And by palm, I mean, they just put their hand on the head and shoulder of the opponent and wave their arm. And magically the opponent runs the other way because it's a, it's an Ed Sullivan show tumbling routine. And they're diving and rolling in different directions for no obvious reason other than it looks cool. And then they went to the floor and they set up the stairs and they did tumbling routines over and off of the stairs. And then they went to the break. And then they came back and there was more leaping and diving. And then Swerve gave Darby Allen a Death Valley driver off the second rope onto the apron, which should have hospitalized him. But he was going to beat the count by being in at the six count until a guy in a hoodie jumped over the rail and posted him, which he didn't even go off his feet. He bounced back to the middle of the ring so that Swerve could pull him back in and hit some fucked up move. I don't know what the fuck he calls it. So Darby got a Death Valley driver off the second rope onto the fucking apron was down for a five count, got run into the metal ring post, didn't go off his feet, and was pulled into the ring by Swerve and given a finish. Then he beat him one, two, three. And son of a bitch, wouldn't you know who won the pony? It was A.R. Fox in the hoodie, and then he jumped on Darby. And so Nick Wayne came in to try to help with good God. (laughs) I know the kid's a rookie but he's been training and wrestling on low profile shows, whatever the fuck he can't throw a punch. The punches were embarrassing and he threw a lot of them to make it worse. If you can't throw a punch, don't back a guy in the corner and start punching him. Do something else. And then they stopped him with a skateboard. (laughs) Yes, you heard that right. And then while all the baby faces were laying there selling and groveling, they handed A.R. Fox a t-shirt so he could join the embassy. So he was apologetic for switching heel an hour ago, but now apparently he's going to revel in it. What about this match? I can't really add too much more uh, about this match. I agree with you. Obviously, these guys are very comfortable working together, and I think that comes across in the match. Comfortable. Comfortable. What do you think of A.R. Fox's big heel turn, considering the show began with a video about what an upstanding person he is to his students? <laughs> he brings in homeless people and lets them live with him for free, and then he stabs people in the back an hour later. I don't... It would have been nice if we, when he first came in, we heard that about him from Darby Allen and established their friendship, and maybe, I don't know showed them being friends intermittently over the last six months. 
And then maybe when he stabbed Darby in the back, it would register with me, but he stabbed Darby in the back 45 minutes after I learned that he was friends with him to begin with. So, eh, 